I'm Captain Mech, a Brit who is fascinated by America and its food. Today we're getting all warm and snuggly because I'm making chicken and dumplings. After my biscuits and gravy video, many of my viewers suggested I make chicken and dumplings. And now that I've taken the time to look into the recipe and what it is, I can see why everyone was suggesting it. It looks perfect for me. But also stay tuned, because this week is an exciting one. I am welcoming a new member of staff to Team Captain Mech. But now it's time for Mech's research. Chicken and dumplings is a creamy soup or broth full of succulent pieces of chicken and also dumplings soaking up all of the juices. Chicken and dumplings has a history that is not always agreed upon, it seems. Some suggest the meal started in the time of the Great Depression as a way of scratching meagre scraps into a belly-filling meal. Others contest that the meal came around much later, as it was only relatively recently that chicken became a cheap commodity food. Most Americans kept chickens for eggs, and so the animal itself was quite valuable and only eaten on rare occasions. The chickens were much more muscly and sinewy, and therefore had to be cooked for a long time to tenderize the meat. Perhaps another reason why the quick-to-prepare label doesn't quite hold true for chicken and dumplings back then. In any event, the dish is a firm American favorite and can be served with two different types of dumplings. Drop dumplings, where you drop the dumpling mixture into the broth, and there is also a type of rolled dumpling that are cooked at the bottom of the pot underneath the liquid. That is how they earned their names, swimmers and sinkers. <laughs> I like that very much. What are you, Captain Mech? A swimmer or a big old sinker? No, no offence meant, obviously, Captain. <laughs> Just having a little jest. Thank you, squadron leader. Chicken and dumplings sounds right up my street. I am excited. It is a big day here at Mech Mansion because, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've taken on a new employee. And so I am passing the reins of Ask the Audience to my new IT expert, Horace. Horace, it is over to you. Let's head to Ask the Audience. Oh, hello viewers. My name is Horace and I am now the IT department of the Captain Mech channel. If you are doubting my credentials, fear not. I can send and receive electronic mail. I can navigate the interweb and if you ask me nicely, I can even resize a JPEG. Captain Mech and his channel is in good hands. I don't think much of me office at the moment. I mean, really? Hopefully things will improve. So let's dive in and see what you lot said about chicken and dumplings. First off, the dumpling wars have arrived. There are drop dumplings and there are the rolled ones. Now, if you hold on, I can push a very special button and hopefully display a picture on your screen right now. Uh, that one. There you go. That is why you've got an IT person. Skills, that is talent in the electronic world. Most people suggested Mech did drop dumplings, as I think maybe they're a little bit easier and seem to be slightly more popular than the other ones, but I don't want to fuel the fire. I am just the messenger. Now, one of our mechaneers, Denise, suggested simmering the chicken overnight to make it super succulent. So that is what Mech did. Thank you, Denise. A big thumbs up from me. One of our regular commenters, KT Merlin, hello KT, pointed us towards a couple of lovely Alton Brown recipes. Mech did have a look at these recipes and they were lovely. The only thing with the Alton Brown one is that it seemed quite a watery broth, but Mech fancied something richer and creamier. But thank you, KT. We completely ignored your suggestion. No hard feelings. You will find the link to the recipe that Captain Mech used in the description below. Once I have found out how to post mega links or is it hyperlinks that's it from me this week right mick isn't it time to get cooking thank you horace i'm sure your cutting edge it skills 
will help us no end. But he's right, it's time to get in the kitchen. Let's go. All right, so we are at the Mech meal table and it smells amazing. I haven't tasted it yet, but in front of me is Mini Mech number one, two, three, and Mrs. Mech at the dinner table this evening, all tucking into American chicken and dumplings. I'm jealous because I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna take mine up into the loft in a bit and try it in the uh, privacy of my own loft so I can do the scoring and everything properly. There's a lot of eating and slurping going on. I think this might be a winner. Let's start with Mini Mech number one. Let us have your comments about chicken and dumplings. It kind of feels like it could be an English meal, American dinner, but... Yeah, we do have stew and dumplings, so there is an Englishness about it. That makes sense. There's something about it that strikes me as not very British. It's different. But yes, I know exactly what you mean. It's good. Mini mate number two cannot get enough into his mouth. Slow down. Did he, now he's eaten all his chicken in his soup, leaving his two dumplings just floating like two I little desert islands. You're saving them. Yeah. You're saving, saving them. All last. right. What do you think? What do you think? I'd say it's probably been eaten in winter. Yes, it's a winter dish. Good for keeping it's yourself warm. Good. It's very good. You like it? Yeah. Now, Mini mate number three, Whilst I was getting the camera ready to film, she was giving me all the comments about what she thought about this dish and I missed them all. So I'm gonna have to ask her again. Tell me what you think about what you're eating, Mini Mech. The dumplings are really yummy. 
Dumplings are really yummy. Do you like the chickeny soup? Yes. Big smile. Now, Mini Mac number three at the moment is very fussy about what she eats. So to see her tucking into this is great. Mrs. Mech, are you willing to uh, give a little comment? What do you think? I like it. It's, um, it's got more flavour than I thought. When you said broth, I thought it was going to be more watery. Right. There's like a creaminess to it. Yeah. It's very peppery, but I like that. That's yes. <laughs> there, is, there is a couple of teaspoons of pepper in there. This is this particular recipe. Nice. Oh, it's time for me to try it as well, because everyone else has had it. So I will see you up in the loft. Yes, you can have another dumpling. Right on cue. All right, see you later. Here I am in my loft with chicken and dumplings. I'll have my proper dinner downstairs with the family in a minute, but I wanted to just get away and do the scoring and the tasting up here on my own. Winner for the family, they all loved it. I mean, we're scoring highly already, right guys? Now, obviously my recipe uses evaporated milk. I know that is not a standard Originally I thought I won't use that recipe because it's throwing a, an ingredient in there that's a bit of a curveball and maybe not a traditional thing. But having read all the reviews for this recipe, which I will link to in the description, so many people rated it really highly and said, this is the recipe for chicken and dumplings. My family have been looking for the recipe for years and this is it. So many reviews said it was great. So I just got swayed. Let's go for it. Right, bit of dumpling, yes and a bit of the chicken mixture. Oh, it looks so lovely. It smells so good. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the first thing I'm gonna hit with is that creaminess, that rich creaminess, which of course immediately brings to mind the gravy from Biscuits and Gravy to me. This is why people said I should try it. And it also has the dumplings like the biscuits, the big doughy bready bit which I'm a sucker for. Oh, that's so beautiful. And immediately makes me think of, you know, that thing when you're ill and most people will have chicken soup because it has this sort of mysterious medicinal quality. It just makes you feel better. Someone in the comments said it is love in a bowl. And I, I wholeheartedly agree. As always, Mechaneers, an excellent suggestion. I'm so pleased I made that. Let's move to scoring. ease of making. As with so many of these recipes, you can cheat and do it really quickly or you can go the long route. So I simmered the chicken overnight, I made the dumplings from scratch. You could buy a ready cooked chicken, shred it, you're ready to go. Or you could buy ready made um, dumplings or at least dumpling mix. You can do all of that stuff. If you want the full experience, it takes a bit of time, but it wasn't difficult to make. You just got to put some time into it and that's fine. Appeal. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Some people, some Brits maybe, would look at it and go, oh, couldn't, maybe can't really tell what it is. Now, if those dumplings were sitting in a beef stew, they'd know exactly what it is, but the chicken would throw them off. So appeal is nice and good, but it's not the same as something like funnel cakes for me in terms of appeal. You see those, you know exactly what you're going to get. Taste, top marks for taste. It is gorgeous. It is a rich, creamy chicken stew. It has lots of fatty depth. We all need a bit of fatty depth. So when it comes to scoring, <laughs> it's gonna be under biscuits and gravy for me, and it's gonna be under buffalo chicken wings. Is it gonna be under chicken fried steak? Yes. So I'm going to give chicken and dumplings 91 mech points. So that puts it a hair below chicken fried steak. There it is on the scoreboard. So there you have it, chicken and dumplings. Yum. Please give me a like if you liked the video. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified about when I post my videos. Please leave a comment. I read all of them, but I can't always reply to all of them. And if you want to throw me even more support, you can join and become a super mechaneer. Click the join button at the top of my channel for more details. We're done for another week. Keep an eye on my community tab on my YouTube channel for posts about what I will be making next week. You have been chickeny and dumplingy this week. Captain Mech, out.